Hello there, it's me, Leon HD, and today I've came to talk about something that I'm missing and doing. I like really want to create a redstone circuit, and I don't know. I just feel like making something redstone related, and I was thinking about um, about TNT cannons, and there are some things I have in mind. And this video is gonna be theoric. Like I'm not gonna do anything in some Minecraft yet. Probably gonna do it like next video, and so. I wanted to make this uh, TNT cannon and I wanted to test stuff so this is going to be probably not going to be survival friendly and probably not going to be um, it's, this is fully theoric, experimental and for technical purposes so basically um, I was searching about TNT cannons and here there's this official article on the on TNT it's not an official article, it's from the official wiki, but whatever. So, um, it's from the TNT canon. So, here we have like some stuff that it talks about. And, like, here. Uh, as of 1.8, it is still possible to build a TNT cannon that works with pistons and side blocks. So, I actually didn't know this, and I read most of these things. And, here, like, it's saying that, um, uh, here, like, it's saying that you, that from 1.8 on, you can use line blocks as TNT fuel instead of TNT itself, because, um, slime blocks were introduced to Minecraft in, um, in 1.8, and I was actually searching some stuff about it, and... I really wanted to see um, if there is like some other slime blocks here. Um, piston based condensing. It's probably it. Uh, come on. Piston based here. Okay, so using pistons to push the main charge closer to the shot also does the same thing as condenser charge. So this condenser probably means, like, I guess it means that you are um, condensing, like, I don't know, no, I don't guess anything. Let's just read it. Because the force of from an explosion is weaker, the further away from its source, TNT placed more than six, seven blocks from the projectile have little to no effect. To remedy this problem, a, cons a condenser charge may be used. A condenser charge works by exploding slightly before the main charge. Yeah, that's how we make TNT cannons. So, okay, so I got it. And here, piston based condensing let's read this because my idea was to use um to test out tnt based condensing and piston based condensing so i could see which one shoot it further and i would i would try to come up with an idea to make um to make both of them combined and i'll explain you in a minute so let's read the piston based condensing Using pistons to push the main charge closer to the shot also does the same thing as the condenser charge. More complicated to build, but more controllable. To work, the main charge must be primed, turning the solid TNT blocks into entities. Once they are entities, a series of pistons can push and concentrate all the charges into a single block space behind the shot. In this system, you get far more efficient power from given size of charge so it says here that uh, you have more efficient power given the size so that means that um, depending of, on the on the charge you are using the piston you get you can get a greater power but let's finish reading it uh, care must be taken so that the pistons do not replace the water blocks protecting the cannon from TNT damage okay uh, so this um, triggers me to another thing I was thinking about that um, it was using piston extenders uh, single piston extenders or double piston extenders because um, I thought like if you have double piston extenders or like the highest number um, possible you could probably get a better shot I don't know if this is true and I really needed to test this out I've sh I searched a lot about it and I already tried to fig figure it out, I even watched a lot of videos and stuff like that, but I don't really know if um, using double piston extenders are, um, they give more 
push, then single piston extenders. And I, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait to test that out in game, and let's see if there's anything else that uh, interests us here. Uh, a comparison of the shot distance of two different cannons, one shot with uh, condensed shot and one shot normal shot. Yeah, so this is one that had the delay. Okay, okay. Um, uh, okay. So, um, and like, if I really wanted to get a very, um, a very strong cannon, I really would need um, a very, uh, a very um, delayed TNT. And I was searching commands or data packs so you can make them um, the TNT fuse um, delay. So here, spawn the TNT fuse tag for prime TNT. I really didn't find much of this, and um, like I've seen people doing it. Uh, prime TNT fuse. Uh, let's search uh, hmm. okay I found one here to edit um, TNT fuse time so um, this looks like it's in 1.13 but it's probably gonna work um, on whatever version I want to do and uh, here so I'm gonna get into the data. However, the TNT takes too long to actually explode. So for two seconds, okay. So basically, what I see here, data merge entity, NBT fuse seventy-five. I don't get why there are two fuses, but one of these um, are setting two seconds. That this guy is saying. Um, let me continue this thread here. Uh, so, hmm, let me try to see this through. Okay, so, um, I've seen this through, and here it's the command you get to get the special TNT. You probably like get an uh, at um, slash give at p, and you um, get TNT, and you set an NBT to it, and the NBT is a fuse. 75. So I'm gonna see through this command later when we do the practical stuff. And for now, I'm gonna try out and show you what, I what else I have in mind. So I tried consulting the piston uses. Um, the piston uses uh, article, and here I've tried to search um, about piston jumpers and pushers. And they don't actually exist. I don't see them um, here, like on this article. S so I'm gonna do a bit of more research so I can find out if I see any more stuff about these piston jumpers. Okay, so I found out the name was slime block jump because I was like writing here, and then there's like this jump. So this is probably the most common used name jump or launcher. So let's call it launcher or jump, I don't know, anything. So here, um, I've had, I haven't like seen some stuff here. Um, so I really wanted to know if there's anything here about it, any videos, slime block jump, you know, I, I don't want that. I want to know like the properties and to know how far it goes and depending on the piston extender type. So. I'm gonna take a look at these these websites here. Okay, I think I'm not gonna find anything about that in the way I'm searching. So I'm gonna f try to enter um, wikis and see through uh, see through the the slime properties. See, I can find anything. Let's go through the fandom wiki first because um, I don't know. Let's just go through first. Okay, so I've entered the, the uh, fandom wiki here. So this wiki is probably not so accurate as the Gamepedia because it's fan-based and the Gamepedia is official. But 
Um, I just want to check out if it has anything here that we can see. So, uh, bounce entity back 60% of the height. So, okay. Uh, however, the higher the jump height, the lower the percent of the percentage of the bounce. Uh, I don't get that. Wait, but it just the height. Okay, so here, uh, 256 block fall will give a 56, 50 to 60 block bounce, which is about 20%. Oh, okay, you get it. So, if you jump from too high, will you, you will start to reduce part of the, uh, part of the, of what you're getting. So, I, what I, from what I understood, like, if you jump from, like, more than 200 blocks, instead of getting 60% of throwback, you will only get like, I don't know, 50%, something like that. Um, okay, this is interesting. Uh, crafting. Okay, so, yeah, uh, interesting. So let's go to Gamepedia now. Okay, we are in Gamepedia. So, um, here, uh, let's see if it has anything to tell us. Um, here, bouncing pistons. Okay, so here we have interesting stuff. Uh, let's check out the bouncing. A uh, player mob that falls into the top of slime blocks bounces from a height proportional to the falling velocity. Uh, okay, okay, okay. They're holding the jump key, platforms, and normal jump in contact with the slime block. Mm, okay, facing cars. Okay, so I don't think this part interests us. So I really wanted to find something that tells us like um, how much it bounces off um, if it's being pushed by a piston um, or a double piston extender or something like that. And oh gosh, that's not okay. Um, so one being pushed by a piston uh, here that are ahead are launched into the direction the block is pushed into. When pulled by piston, okay. Uh, when a run block is pushed or pulled by piston, attempts to move all adjacent blocks in the same direction. Okay, I know that. Uh, the blocks that are moved may, in turn, push other blocks. Mm. Okay. Um, as land block adjacent to block cannot be moved by pistons. Uh, maximum 12 blocks moved by a piston still applies. Uh, piston cannot move itself. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we didn't find out really anything um, on this. Um, on this. Um, subject that we are looking for and I'm just going to show you how I intend to make my piston uh, my piston TNT uh, cannon and then uh, I'll show you something else okay so I've been reading a lot about uh, these cannons and I figured out that it has much more things than I knew and like it has like a whole naming system and you have like this um, mixed uh, TNT amount, maximum range, damage value, and push, and uh, repeater delay, and then you get a specific name for a cannon. Um, and here it's talking about each value. Damage value, it's kind of self explanatory. You had the value, the cruci value, okay. Uh, economic value, I don't really. Uh, understand what that means. Uh, tell us how hard a cannon is to build. Oh, okay. Um, technical names, and then here it talks about all the naming systems. Okay, so building materials. We don't want that. No, not limitations either. Cannon sizes and special features. So let's see the special features and see if any um, interests us. Okay, so a small cannon only has a very small range and is meant for stopping large amounts of rushing. Okay. 
Minion Cannon. Okay, okay. These numbers. Let me see the order so we can understand this. So, this means. Uh, here. Uh, damage value, ergonomic value, TNT amount, and maximum range. And then here you get the nickname. So, yeah, okay. And this is th this would be the common um, name, uh, and then the technic name would be first number of the technical TNT cannon name designates how many horizontal rows layers of TNT has for the charge. Okay, that's too complicated. <laughs> I'll, I'll read this later. Um, um, when I'm before I do the technical. The, the practical video, I'm gonna read all of this and I'm gonna try to figure it out. So, here, uh, large cannon, sniper cannon, okay, mass demo cannons, spread shot, yes. Uh, is it gonna talk about the sand cannon? Here, alternative ammo, which is arrows, sand, gravel, yep. Um, shock and light charges. Here we have the types of condensing. Uh, okay, so I need to have a lot of TNT cannon culture here so I can do this and I'm gonna read through all of this so I know a lot of stuff um, when I go to make my own cannon. And um, at last I'm just gonna show you my ideas for how the cannon is gonna be my plans. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna show you um, how I want to do this and basically um, there will be like this mechanism down here and it would like just uh, create something here and so this would be the mechanism and then like uh, it would my idea is to make it like this pistons here and then when you activate it uh, they push the TNT uh, into the sky, so they are launched here, TNT, and then when they are launched, this is the fuel TNT, so this is going to push the fuel TNT into the sky, and there's going to be another piston here that's going to push the, the shot TNT into the sky, and then here they are both going to activate and I wanted to make this um, this piston jump thing so they can get even farther from where they're shooting from before they even shoot. So that's my idea. And so actually, this is, this would have to be um, uh, very high. So you could uh, erase it here. So because like this would actually fall. Um, and this would fall down here. So, like, if you want to um, hit here, you have to make like this height. And I'm gonna do all the maths and all the stuff on the technical video, te the practical video. It's gonna be very long probably because I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff on that video. And so I think you get the idea of my piston. Uh, my piston shooter so basically the TNT the fuel TNT is here and then here is the shot TNT and then the piston launches the fuel TNT and then like it goes up here then this piston launches the shot TNT and then they both explode already like um, 20 or 30 blocks from the place you started from the place your set is they sh they're already gonna shoot like already ahead of that, so I'm trying to um, to simulate the sh the shot process on a distance that's a bit farther. So like if you have a a factions uh, situation and then you want to get inside someone's base, and you could do this, uh, like you could make this shot, uh, like you could be make the set over here, and then here's the factions barrier. And then with this system I created, you can make um, the TNTs be pushed right above the barrier before they even are exploded. So you get like a, a 30 block head start and 
this could be really useful if you are like I don't know, for any situation and I think this is a very cool idea I created so uh, I'm gonna spend a lot of time making this uh, practical video and um, the building video and it could be probably separated into two or more videos because of how long this could be but it could be pretty small also I can't see the future and yeah so that's it bye